our world today desires a constantly growing economy. With this, there is an ever increasing requirement of. <laughs> requirement of. <laughs> Our world today desires a constantly growing economy. With this, there is an ever increasing requirement of raw materials and energy needed to sustain this growth. One key raw material that fulfills both necessities is oil. It is used in almost every step of the consumer supply chain. Not only is it a necessity to drive logistics, its intrinsic property of being an organic compound allows it to be used in various industries, ranging from chemical to plastics to pharmaceuticals. However, there is an ever-growing geographical divide between where oil is found and where oil is being used due to its increasing scarcity. Thus, a key step in the consumption of oil is getting it to where it needs to go. Sometimes, oil is required to travel large swathes of seas. However, this transportation carries a lot of risk in the form of oil spills. Accidents will occur, and as such, people have developed prevention and remediation strategies. In this video, we will be examining the remediation strategies in the form of booms, barriers, and surface skimmers. Skimmers. Plus, we'll also conduct a live demonstration. This is a temporary floating barrier used to contain an oil spill and works on the premise that much of an oil spill will float in the upper parts of the water column due to density. Booms are used to reduce the possibility of polluting shorelines and other resources and to help make recovery easier. Booms help to concentrate oil in thicker surface layers so that skimmers, vacuums and other collection methods can be used more effectively. They come in many shapes and sizes with various levels of effectiveness in different types of water conditions. They rest on the surface of the water but can have between 18 and 48 inches of material that hangs beneath the surface. For, tip for a typical oil spill, an effective well designed combination of booms will be used to minimise the technique's limitation. Booms can be broadly classified into three types, containment booming, diversion booming, Reflection booming and exclusion booming. An oil skimmer is a device that is designed to remove oil floating on a liquid surface, typically used in combination with the booms which trap or contain the oil spill within the surface and upper half of a metre of the water column and can then be collected by a skimmer or vacuum. Three, three key types include weir skimmers, oleophilic skimmers, and non oleophilic skimmers. And many new designs are currently being trialled. So, benefits of using contaminant boom or skimmer. Contaminant booms are used to control the spread of oil to reduce the possibility of polluting shorelines and other resources, as well as to concentrate oil in thicker surface layers, making recovery easier. In addition, booms are may be used to divert and channel oil slicks along the design path, for example, making them easier to remove from the surface of the water. Another benefit of it is the simplicity is easier to deploy and install. Very often, the contaminant booms are made by high stress components, which means the dependability is robust. Skimmers they are not only capable to um, ideally mitigate and prevent the accidental release of oil into the environment. Using oil skimmers makes the disposal of water much more efficient. The cost of wastewater discharge and emissions are reduced, and the capture of oil is ready to recycle already. Oil skimmers are also excellent for keeping the water well clean. Um, skimmer goods is real and safe. It also can help to separate the water, oil from water and wastewater in food processing facilities and make substantial savings in wastewater discharge fields. There are several limitations associated with booms and barriers, most of which are associated with external forces acting upon the booms and barriers themselves. The first is due to the effect of strong winds, as powerful waves can transport oil and water over the boom and generate additional stress. This is therefore closely related to the second point, currents and tides, which have the potential to do the opposite, causing the oil to dive below the boom or barrier, ultimately negating the impact. Other external forces on the boom may be associated with the speed of travel at which the barrier is deployed, as obviously the faster the speed, the less effective the barrier becomes. Thirdly, larger booms and barriers are Vacuum skimmers also have a relatively greater recovery, 
However, they are more often a better alternative and more advanced diets can be sufficient, 60 to 70 percent. Finally, there are paleophilic oil attractive skimmers, which include belts, discs, continuous mop chains, and brushes. They have limited range and are also relatively generally speaking, it's more expensive. March 24, 1989. Shortly after midnight, the oil tanker Nixon Valdez struck Bly Reef in Prince William Sound, Alaska, spilling more than 11 million gallons of crude oil. The spill was the largest in US history and tested the abilities of the local, national, and industrial organizations to, to, to prepare for and respond to a disaster of such magnitude. A fire resistant boom was placed on tow lines and two ends of the boom were each attached to a ship. The two ships with the boom between them moved slowly throughout the main portion of the slit until the boom was full of oil. The two ships then towed the boom away from the slit and the oil was ignited. The mechanical cleanup was started using booms and skim skimmers, however the skimmers were not readily available during the first 24 hours following the spill. Thick oil and heavy Hill tended to clog the equipment and repairs to damage skimmers were time consuming. However, skimmers were utilized for the community. Okay, so here's the demonstration of the boom and the skimmer. So, like the oil. 